Joining us today is Chris Harris to talk about he and his dog Remix. Look how cute that dog is. I know it. Are a team in the burgeoning world of canine influencers. So welcome to the show. We're so happy Thanks to have you me. here. So tell us about our dog Remix and how you got started as social media influencer. Yeah, for sure. So Remix is an eight-year-old miniature schnauzer. I actually picked him up in Niagara Falls, Canada eight years ago. And uh, I'm actually Canadian originally now living in, in Miami. And um, I think like, like many dog owners, when they first get their first dog, he was my very first dog ever. I never had one as a kid growing up. I got him with my, my girlfriend at the time. And uh, just like any new dog owner, we ended up taking a lot of photos of our dog. And I think what happens is you realize that you're starting to bug your friends a lot when you're, you're just kind of filling up your, your own personal Facebook and Instagram feeds with your dog. So we ended up creating a, sec a separate Instagram account for him just kind of naturally. You know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't meant to be anything. It was just meant to be a place to kind of put our put our photos up there. Um, I ended up I, I happened to be a photographer actually as well. So I, I was a concert photographer in Toronto for many years. And I used to just love taking photos of this dog. And one day my girlfriend decided to dress him up like a DJ. His name is Remix, right? Um, you can kind of see where the, the name kind of came from. Uh, you know, we're big music fans. So we just thought it was a sort of a fitting name for him. But uh, she decided to dress him up like a DJ one day. And we took the photo, posted it, didn't expect anything of it. And then the next morning when we woke up, uh, he ended up going viral overnight. So Elle magazine, Glamour magazine, Mr. Porter magazine in New York ended up reposting him. Wow. And that's just kind of how I kind of how things ended up taking off. Was his name Remix before? Or did you change it? It was a Remix before. Funny story. I did not plan on naming him Remix the day we um, we were going to pick him up. So the day before, um, we actually had planned to name him Dino. We actually thought it was just kind of a cute name and we were big uh, Flintstone fans. So Dino just kind of <laughs> made a lot of sense. And then uh, we even have a dog tag that says Dino on it still from that day. And then the night before, it was really weird. I, I had a dream where I was shooting a concert and a DJ was telling me that, you know what, it'd be really cool if your dog's name was Remix. And then I woke up that morning being like, I think that's actually a pretty cool name for a dog. And I've never seen one like that before. So it just kind of happened. <laughs> How do you describe the Remix the Dog brand? It's funny that you mention it as brand because uh, so on my day job, I'm a brand marketer. And I always thought it was kind of fun building an online image and personality for my dog, especially just knowing that very well that he is just a dog in real life and has absolutely no idea what's actually going on. <laughs> but uh, I think it all kind of happened naturally, to be honest with you. Once he went viral, he ended up kind of being known as like this cool music inspired dog that somehow was taken off kind of in like the fashion sphere a little bit, almost like a fashion influencer. So uh, we just kind of went with that. So he's kind of known as that dog that dresses up on occasion. We live in Miami now, so he lives this really interesting Miami life. Yeah, and, I was going to um, ask you yeah. about that. I was going to ask yeah. you about that because I know you live in the Miami area. So how does Miami influence your post on Instagram and Facebook? As being an influencer on, on social media, you try to be different as much as possible. And I don't think there's a lot of dog or pet influencers out there that are actually based in a, a sunny vacation spot like Miami. It's not sure. like a very common place that I guess a lot of people would be posting from unless you're actually there on vacation. So he's just kind of that dog that lives that that fun Miami life that we try to do. Talk about the brands you work with. I mean, what do you like about them? How do you pick them? We're pretty choosy in the brands that we work with. I mean, one of the more important things is that we try to be at least true to our followers, very honest with them as well, and try to pick brands that we do believe in. So, um, you know, in a lot of cases, the ones that really fit well with Remix are things like dog clothes. Um, there's a really popular brand in Canada called Canada Pooch that we've worked with in the past. Love, so we it. love Yeah, they're really cool. It's, and it's like a spinoff of... Canada goose in a sense like they even make these like winter jackets for dogs so I always thought that was fun um dog food brands are are pretty common as well so like Caesar's dog food we worked with recently true dog is a is a brand that we love working with as well and they're um, a Florida then, brand that is true they are a Florida brand and then um lifestyle brands as well like Dyson for example we've worked with in the past as well um, even brands like Furbo dog cameras those are really popular these days as people like to kind of keep an eye on their dogs from from while they're at work, for example. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of an ongoing thing. I mean, there's, there's always new brands that we're open to working with and talking to as well. I think a lot of it, um, like many people living at home or working from home during this pandemic, 
are used to, um, you know, like are actually getting uh, interested in like home decor or furniture, those type of things. So we think that it'd be really cool to start working with those type of brands as well. So what advice would you have for people who are trying maybe to gain a following on social media? Try to be yourself as much as possible, but also kind of find your niche a little bit and what makes you different. Because um, in a lot of cases, like it, anyone now that gets a dog or a cat or a pet of some sort, they always make an Instagram account for them now, but they all tend to look the same. It's a lot of copycats out there. And I think the biggest thing is for you guys to try to be as different as possible. So for example, with Remix, we found our little niche of like his little personality. Um, a thing that we, we kind of specialize in too is just high quality photography that makes us really different too. Like it, I almost kind of use him as a, my, my creative muse in a way, just uh, because I don't do concert photography anymore since I moved down to Miami. And it, he's sort of my, my, my little muse now for, for at least getting out there and taking my camera out and taking some cool photos. What would be a range of numbers volume of followers to really consider yourself a brand honestly you can be anywhere from a macro to a micro influencer so anywhere from five thousand to ten thousand followers you can still be an influencer in a sense because you're considered a micro influencer and in a lot of cases you actually have a lot more influence um, and engagement from your following because you're a smaller um you're a smaller uh, account that, you know, honestly probably reaches a lot more on a personal level with a lot of people. The reason that people are following you is probably because they know you a little bit more personally. Well, yeah. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. Before you leave, remind us of your social accounts. First on Facebook, where can we find you in Remix? It's super easy on Facebook and Instagram. One word, just Remix the dog. You'll find oh, us. You're in Miami. I am. You I should have... try to hook up with oh, Remix. Dr. Yeah, you should come hang out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hang out. Thanks for viewing our content on Pet Buzz Plus.